Hello and welcome to Qtegra Intelligent Scientific Data Solution. In this short introductory video, I'll provide a brief overview of the reporting features in Qtegra ISDS. I will demonstrate the new reporting features using an example Qtegra Lightbook that has already been acquired. This is a typical Lightbook with initial calibration color coded here in yellow with its associated blank color coded here in blue. After the calibration, a series of unknowns were analyzed and interspersed among them were a series of quality control samples, here color coded in red. Reports are displayed inside the open lab book. The available reports are displayed in the content list on the left hand side of the lab book underneath the heading Reports. A series of default report templates are included with Qtegra. These cover the most basic requests and I'll be using this lab book to generate a report using each of the supplied templates. Each template can be applied to the current lab book by just selecting it from the list. So if I click the supplied report sample list summary for example, the template is applied to the open lab book, populating the report which is then displayed in the main window here. From this screen a series of actions are available. The report display can be zoomed to use the magnifying glass tools, or zoomed to a series of predefined levels from the drop-down dialog box here. Next page and previous page controls are here, as well as jump to the start or jump to the end of the report. The report can be printed from the print button, which takes you to the standard Windows print control dialog. Alternatively, the report can be saved by clicking on the save button. If you click directly on the Save button, you are taken to the standard Windows Save Control, where the report output from the lab book can be saved either as a PDF or as an RTF file. That can be opened up by any text editor, Microsoft Word for example. If you click the Alternate Save button, you can specify to save the report as a password protected PDF file. Just enter your password using the dialog here. If the report format is not suitable, it can be edited in the Supplied Report Editor, which can be opened from the Edit Report button here. Use of the Report Editor is covered in a separate video. OK, so those are the basics of working with reports in Qtegra. I hope you found this video useful.